What's going on everybody? We're back in Hanoi and this is the Only Travel Review Show. So let's talk about supper and why you should not go during the winter. This whole trip we've been looking forward to supper and in a sense it was our end goal for a northern Vietnamese trip. Okay, even before driving to supper, things started going south for us. The Lien had a nasty fall on a mud road as we were driving out of Lugien still our favorite homestay. The fall left her with a badly hurt ankle and it took us almost two hours to drive just seven kilometers. We were supposed to arrive at supper at 4 p.m. while well, that never happened. To get to supper you have to drive up high into the mountains as we will call the most insane road out there. To spice things up we did this in complete darkness while freezing in places that I've never felt before. Oh, and then there was my bike light that just stopped working. So I had to drive with a flashlight in one hand trying to navigate this pass in the dark while being blinded by trucks and cars as we were going up. Being winter, this added much more complications to our drive. As we were climbing higher and higher, the mist started getting thicker. And at one point I could barely see the lines in front of me on the road. So what was supposed to be only a 40 minute drive turned out to be a two hour drive. Driving into supper we were cold, scared and miserable. But we've made it. Success, right? No. Nope. We were greeted by a flight of stairs that seemed never ending and the whole town was covered in a thick blanket of mist. After climbing up the stairs for 10 minutes I was beat. Well, actually both of us. And the Lien could barely stand up with her sore ankle but there was light at the end of this dark tunnel. The moment we arrived at Youth Home Say Sapa, we were greeted with the biggest smiles and felt right at home. We then walked up to our room and wow, we were both left speechless. After taking the longest bath of my life, our first night, I was so excited to wake up the next morning with our view of Mount Fanzipan, but I had to go to sleep. And before I knew it, I was out. The room was amazing, so let's check out what our room looked like. As you can see here, this was our view for the next three days and guys, it never got better. In fact, it only started to clear up in April. So we spent the next three days inside and only went out when we had to eat. The weather was miserable, it was really cold and the rain just never stopped. The only thing that saved this trip was our accommodation. So if you're planning on going to Sapa, the best time would be from August till mid-November. During those times, the weather is perfect and the temperatures are cool. Plus, during the month of September, the rice field starts to turn yellow. Rainy season only starts from May and generally lasts until August. Since supper was not what we had expected, we had to make a change of plans. We decided it would be best to take the overnight train from Lao Cai to Hanoi, something that we've never done before. We had to wait at the train station for about seven hours, but it ended up not being too bad as there are lots of places to eat and um, get something to drink around the train station. We also had loads of videos to binge watch. For a small fee, you can also put your motorbike on the train and it'll be waiting for you on the platform when you arrive. Make sure that you don't lose the ticket that they give you as you need that to get your bike back. Also, just a heads up, they do drain your petrol out of your bike, so you need to look for petrol when you arrive at your destination. Luckily, this is quite easy to do at the train station. We decided to take a private room for the two of us on the King Sapa Express. The entire trip down to Hanoi takes about eight hours. We highly recommend you do this, as the roads down to Hanoi are very busy and simply not as scenic as the ones in the north. And hey, why not take a break and arrive in Hanoi rested? The train is quite bumpy, so if you get motion sickness like I do, don't forget to grab some meds beforehand. 
It also helps to pack in your sleeping bags. The cost for two people doing this was $100 and the bikes were $15 each. There are of course much cheaper options for beds, but we were so happy that we decided to spend the $100 as our beds were clean, comfortable and we had some privacy to relax. Thanks again for sticking around till the end of our video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the like button and ring the bell to get future notifications on videos. Next on our agenda, we'll be climbing back onto our motorbikes and hitting the Ho Chi Minh Trail down south through Vietnam. Have a great week and don't forget to stay golden.